what? What? The Torch Dragon is going to be the next Dragon of the Month? Seriously? Uh, but anyway, today we are on the DML Instagram page, and earlier there was this post here that says, Can you guess who's coming next month to Dragonlandia? Tell us in the comments. Have a lovely weekend. Hashtag Dragon of the Month. Hashtag DML. Hashtag Gameloft. And they've left us with this little video clip here. And so nothing really happens. It's just the egg of what we can clearly tell is the torch dragon. So for anyone that doesn't know which dragon this is, we do have our own little torch dragon here. We've got little Aaron. This is the torch dragon and he has only been available as part of a special event. So like a calendar event, solo event. He was one of those dragons. He was part of the Olympic celebrations. And this guy actually has the fire and light elements as his second and third elements, but if he is going to be the next dragon of the month, of course that does mean that Mr. Skeleton Dragon over here isn't going to be the next dragon of the month. So it seems like they've changed up the sort of order of dragons a little bit. So, you know, at the end of the day, the Skeleton Dragon isn't that great. He's a legendary Shadow and Earth Dragon. So, the Torch Dragon is really a lot better than him, but regardless of that, this is really, really different, actually. Like, it's not often that they change up which dragon is going to be the monthly dragon, so he is probably going to be the one that is going to be here in a day and 12 hours, and obviously, when we get the breeding pair and everything, I'll let you know on what the best combos are going to be, but... No, that was like, I was like, wow, seriously, are we actually getting a different Dragon of the Month? That's actually pretty major. So, this guy, instead of him being an event limited dragon, hopefully quite a few of you other guys are going to be able to get a hold of him as well. But, that is not the only stuff that has been posted on the DML page today. Obviously, we do have the Aphrodite coming in a couple of days as well. But there is also a quick post here that I also wanted to mention in case you don't have Facebook or if you haven't seen it. But this is on the Facebook page. It says, Greetings, Dragon Lords. Please keep in mind that if you play DML on Windows Phone, it is essential to upgrade your system before the next update. We'd like to warn you in advance so you have time to finish upgrading. And then they've got this picture here. So your dragons will miss you. Starting with the next update, DML will not support Windows Phone 8.0. Please upgrade your phone's operating system to 8.1 at least to continue playing DML. And a lot of people have been saying that this is mostly a store issue. So it's not like the developers themselves are at fault. It's just you're going to have to upgrade your phone to that version if you haven't already. You know, most people should have already upgraded past that point. But it is essential that you do that, otherwise you will not be able to play the game anymore. So make make sure you do that. But anyway, we are on day 29 of the calendar event, which means that we get 50 gems, which is actually a pretty hefty amount. Like, that is a good, good portion of gems right there. And there is also an Archduke's Valiant pack with the Heavenly Dragon, a gacha ticket, 15 scrolls, and some gold. I actually already have the Heavenly, but he's he's a cute little guy. I really do like him, pretty plain, but, you know, little cute play. So if you want to get a hold of him, there is that bundle. The Ash Dragon's on sale as well. And then, <clears throat> on top of that, we do also have Gems, which are on sale currently as well, for the 600 and for the Max Amount Pack. And the 100, actually, that's only £2.49. So, for anyone that is currently either trying to, uh, you know get all the boss challenge stuff done, or for anyone that wants to spend gems on, I don't know, wants to make sure they have enough gems so that they can ensure that they get the Aphrodite, stuff like that, you know, now's going to be a good opportunity for you. But, I know I've just been, like, going through, like, 700 billion kajillion things, but, you know, we, it, it has been, like, a full day since I was home, at least. So, we've got a lot of stuff to do, and again, we've got this new boss challenge here as well, so the Medusa boss fight and the Ares dragon at the end here. And, you know, this is a new start entirely. I think we've nearly driven all the Divine Dragon's enemies off Mount Dragolympus, Professor. Good work, Aya. Only a few more battles left to wage. Let's make them count. Come on. And so for this first fight here, we've got all elements that we can use. But 
We can't guarantee that we are going to be able to have every element that we need for this event. So if we head on over to the DML Wiki's Drag Olympus page and we scroll down to the bottom, we have the six challenge fully, fully detailed on here. So the elements allowed. So from what I can see here, I personally can do every single one of these fights. So make sure you check through this list yourself and make sure that you can also do these fights because obviously, if you want to finish off the whole challenge, even a single fight could completely ruin your chances at this event. So make sure you go and check that out on the wiki. Very, very useful guide. So thank you to the guys that always put that stuff together. Like, I cannot stress enough how important the wiki is. The, just the sheer amount of info that they actually give to us. And at the end of the day, it is just normal players that are doing that for us. It's not like a... DML representative or something is doing it, like a company representative. But again, second fight, all elements, and we can skip the waiting time for 10 gems if we want to. So I'm just going to keep working on these as the time comes. And obviously the Ares being the final boss fight is like, what? Can we actually ever get the Ares for free? I would love to be able to do that. Not sure if we can, though. Again, it would be fantastic if we could... I need to switch out Gravelis as well. Let, let's switch him out for Striker here because obviously Striker is an insanely good dragon. There we go. If we re-enter, he'll be there. But eh, not really too many quests that we want to do either. But one thing that we haven't done in a couple of days is our enchantment stuff. And we've gone down quite a bit in ranking, which is a good thing. Because we were sitting at like 1,100 and we were starting to get some pretty tough fights, to be honest. So... Super happy that we've gone down a little bit, so now perhaps uh, Comet Dragon can do a little bit more work. Because I was getting so many fights with like level 70s and then our Comet Dragon was just getting absolutely destroyed. This person has a level 50 Hades Dragon already, so kind of scares me as to the levels of what his other dragons could be. Let's hope, let's, let's hope that it's not too hard. But again... Still going for those final energy materials. We are so close. And at that point, we'll be able to start breeding for the plushie. And of course, as soon as we are like just about to be able to breed for the plushie, that's when we've got the Aphrodite. That's when we've got the boss challenge. That's when we've got new dragon of the month if we want to go for a second one and stuff like that. But it is mostly the Aphrodite dragon, of course, that I am interested in. Because she is going to be available starting from the 2nd of October. So that is going to, going to be straight after the current Dragon of the Week is gone. So Monday, we got some big stuff coming. We got some big stuff coming on Monday. And um, that is more or less going to be marking near the end of the Divine event. So how we'll see Apollo, we will still have to wait and see. Very curious to see how he's going to be released. But I just... I want to get this plushie dragon out of the way as well. I want to finally be able to say, look, there is no other dragon that we could possibly breed no matter what, unless we had a VIP level 12 or we, you know, fought in the arena leagues. Like, apart from that and the heroic mode map, there is, like, no other dragon that we can get a hold of normally in the game. That would be great to finally be able to say that. Because the other enchanted dragons like the other legendaries the briar was kind of a pain to breed and the uh crumbly wasn't too bad i don't think but of course they are still very difficult dragons to get a hold of because the chances of breeding them are like two percent something like that maybe a little bit lower like 0.5 percent for one of them so the sooner we get him out of the way the sooner my mind is gonna be at ease i'm gonna feel like we've achieved we have finally achieved that really difficult goal and oh my god i just looked behind me cause it sounded like there was someone behind me which is very scary considering that i am in the house alone like i don't know about you but one of the scariest feelings in the world is when you're alone and you think there's someone like behind you or in your home that is not a good feeling not a good feeling at all like uh i just want to sit here do my enchantment fights be at, be at ease and then go sleep later. That That's that's all I want. I don't want to have a permanent fear that there is someone watching me in my own home. 
I think I'm just getting a little bit paranoid. Maybe it's the energy drink doing it to me. Like, I normally don't get affected by energy drink like that bad at all, but the other day, like, I was zooming. I felt like I was gonna go crazy. Cause I don't know, the caffeine just had a really bad effect on me that day. I was like awake until about 4 a.m. and I hadn't slept in like 23 hours, so realistically I should have been quite tired. But nah, nah, I don't know. I've got another energy drink here. We'll see. We'll see if I go crazy again today. If I do, I guess we'll just have to cut the energy drinks out entirely and you no, know, I don't know. Replace it with. I was gonna say coffee, but I actually hate coffee. Replace it with Mountain Dew. Uh, replace it with, I don't know, anything not an energy drink? I don't even know what I'd want, to be honest. But regardless, we've got this chest to open here. What do we get? we got some water, wind, metal, fire. Not what I want. Let's open our battle chest as well. What do you want to give me today, game? Be kind. Energy, energy, not void. Okay, you gave me some shadow, you gave me some legendary. That is not too shabby. And of course, we get some divine materials as well, which is pretty good. So, no progress towards our plushie there, but, you know, overall, decent little haul that we just got given. Let's take all of our food out. I really should have put some longer food in, to be honest. But, then we've got these guys in here, so we'll feed these up to level 30 so that we can actually explore. So, we'll, we'll put these three in. Uh, I hope we don't have to use any of these three to breed the Aphrodite. If we do, I've kind of just, like, buried my own grave. I've kind of shot myself in the foot there. Again, let's hope not. Let's hope that that isn't the case and it's not like, you need the lava and, I don't know what one of the other dragons was, to breed the Aphrodite this week. If they do, I would literally just speed up the the exploration if that was the case. Because, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be back. That's what that's what I'm trying to say. I know she's not out for a few days, and we've got a day and 11 hours left, but, you know, I'm still trying to get our way through that thing as well. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys there, but get super hyped for this new Dragon of the Month, and let me know whether you're happy or upset about this being... The new Dragon of the Month. Again, that's what they're implying. There is no 100% guarantee that that's what they meant. But it definitely seems like they were trying their best to say, Hey, 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 this, this guy's the new Dragon of the Month, by the way. In which case, you know, new Legendary for a lot of people is going to be a very, very cool little addition to their team. But, anyway guys, for now, thanks a ton for watching. And until next time, I will see you then.